Welcome to Time Wandering with Jason. I am here in Cincinnati with my friend Russ. I'm driving to Philadelphia and I decided to stop by Cincinnati first to visit a good high school friend. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go around Cincinnati, we're gonna try out some different food. Russ is gonna show me around this great city and hope you guys have a good time with us. At the AC Hotel, this is the rooftop. As you can see, it's just a magnificent view of Cincinnati. It's absolutely beautiful here. This is a great day too, and we're just gonna enjoy some drinks on the rooftop. So I am Jason's friend Russ. We've been hanging out a little bit here at Cincinnati. This is my town now. It used to be Chicago, but eh, forget Chicago. Cincinnati's the place to be, all right? We got this, a baseball stadium. We got, we got a river. It's beautiful here. And um, look at that thing. It's like a tower with a fjord on top. You guys don't have any buildings like that. It's like a princess. Anyway, we're having a great time. It's a great day. We had some burgers together. Now we're at a rooftop. We're about to go get the best fried chicken that Jason's ever had and mac and cheese. Like phenomenal. That's it. We are in front of the Cincinnati Reds Stadium. This is called the Great American Ballpark. Russ and I came here to watch the Cubs play against them a few years ago. It's a great stadium. This whole area is magnificent. Russ and I, we actually, we love baseball. We've been to a lot of stadiums together. Uh, we went to see the Miami Stadium in Tampa Bay over Memorial Day weekend. Another Memorial Day weekend, we went to see the Cubs play against Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. We also went to the Cubs Spring Training Complex in Arizona. So uh, one of the reasons why Russ and I are such good friends is because he likes to travel, I like to travel. That's why I'm so excited to hang out with Russ before I go to Taiwan. So stay tuned, you're in for a good night. <laughs> we are at Grater's Ice Cream. This is a staple of Cincinnati. They've had this ice cream since 1870. And I decided to get the uh, black raspberry chocolate chip This is really good. I've yeah. never had I've never had black raspberry before. And I think the chocolate chip uh, gives it uh, a little bit of uh, that special quality. Je ne sais quoi. Good choice, Russ. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think makes Graders better than uh, or greater than other ice cream places? Graders is greater than other ice cream places. I think because of the love. <laughs> the love they put into their ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it. Okay. It's hard to quantify, but it does. You can taste the it's love. It's just good. Yeah. Hey, so we're here at the Eagle. Eagle is actually my favorite restaurant here in Cincinnati. They have the best fried chicken and macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese has a kick, so if you don't like spicy, you might not want it, but I love it. Like, it's the best. All right, so we're here over at Holtman's. Eagle is right next door. We just talked about them. Holtman's donut shop it's been here forever i don't even know the history behind it people love these donuts they got a donut that has uh bacon sprinkles on top they got other stuff like um pebbles cereal they'll sprinkle pebbles. they'll do whatever like whatever you want like it's, it's i crazy. love pebbles pebble cereal growing up man yeah it's it, this Sugary place is great. Milk although i was talking to a friend today about the pebbles sprinkle donuts and he was saying like yeah it probably sounds cooler than what it actually is because like by the time you eat the donut the pebbles are kind of stale and it's like but whatever we don't need to talk about that this is holmes man uh, i'm at the eagle bar and this is my friend russ's favorite place I think he took me here one time when I visited Cincinnati and I might not have, might have been late at night or something. I do remember him talking about the fried chicken. Take a look at it. about to try this fried chicken. And there's some honey the, yeah. that we're gonna pour on as well. And then Russ said that this mac and cheese has some kick to it. So I will try that. I'm gonna go with the chicken first of all. Not bad, man. Good, good recommendation. You know what? Usually, I, what chicken place I, I like going to is Popeyes. No, I love Popeyes. Popeyes is awesome. 
You put some hot sauce on that? Yeah. Really good. Anything spicy with fried chicken is a must. I used to live in Texas and we had Popeyes in Texas. And so for a while when I first moved to Illinois, they didn't have it. They finally came with one in Arlington Heights. And I used to drive like, you know, 25, half an hour, you know, to, to get to uh, that Popeyes. But it was definitely worth it. This is the mac and cheese with a little bit of kick. Yeah. Nice. It's got like breading crumbs too. Very, very thick. Love it, man. Good choice. Yeah, thanks. All right, so this is good, fellas. This is uh, one of my other favorite places. I actually used to go here probably like two times a week, but it's um, it's funny because it's like a it's New York style pizza, but it's in Cincinnati. They give you a, a big floppy slice of pizza, um, and they'll give you a two foot long breadstick and you'll get this uh, nacho cheese sauce. If you ever come here, get the nacho cheese sauce. And then you get a drink with it. And it's all for like seven bucks or something. So it's like super cheap, it's a great deal. We are here at Goodfellas Pizza. Russ really recommended this place. As you can see, they are famous for their New York style pizza in Cincinnati. This thing is massive. I've already eaten a ton of food today. Uh, look, just, just the size next to my hand. I don't know if I'm going to finish Red stick. this. Red, Red stick is too. like the size of my arm. <laughs> Jeez, I mean. What do you think? you like it? It's greasy. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect for this time of night. My brother, actually, who I'm going to see tomorrow, loves New York style pizza over Chicago style. I'm, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Chicago is my, my style. So. Sure. We just finished two massive slices of New York style pizza, a two foot long breadstick, two old fashions as well with nacho sauce. I am so full. This is a carb overload. I've eaten a lot during this last week before going to Taiwan. This is probably my the most food I've eaten uh, in one single day. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Russ, thank you so much for the recommendations. Everything was fantastic. So thank you for uh, showing me around Cincinnati. And uh, I think I'm ready to hit the hay. We'll see you tomorrow.